Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring Now You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So today we're back with a Tech Tuesday and we're talking again about the 3D printing and some of the questions that you guys have had out there. Uh, make sure you do like and subscribe to these videos and that way you'll get a notification on any of the new videos that are coming out with the Tech Tuesday. So we're going to be talking about the um, 3D printing head, basically the... We call this the whole complete uh, printing head itself. And some of you guys have asked out there about the printing head and uh, had some issues, I guess, with the inners, with the circuit board and many of the components, or you just print a lot and you want to replace this, this whole head. That's actually probably the easiest thing to do and the most inexpensive. Now, if you're doing upgrades, which we've done other videos in regards to the upgrades inside this head, uh, you can revert to those videos. but. Uh, yes, if you have some issues with the uh, complete control head, just go ahead and order a new one. Um, these are very inexpensive if you're ordering it directly from Creality um, or if you're ordering it online. Uh, there's many platforms out there that sell these that are anywhere between you know, $30 all the way up to $60. I guess it all depends too if they put any upgrades inside the uh, unit itself. Uh, a couple other pictures here I'm going to show you and kind of go over why um, you might want to replace this uh, in whole. So here's another picture here to uh, show you the inners of the uh, main components themselves inside the head. So a lot of times we either see that, you know, that these are all gummed up in here or they have some issues or your fans just kind of um older or it's an older model it's just got a lot of use in it and, and or you can see the circuit board sometimes is either overheated or heated up so it, it's just a simple you know a couple bolts uh and on plug and then bolt up the new one and plug in uh the new one and then just do your your uh testing as per the requirements of your printer every printer is different before you um do turn them back on after it's installed and of course you know a key tip don't uh, take these apart and, unless your printer is turned off and you're uh, have it unplugged and everything because even though if it is an unplug sometimes you can get a surge you can have an issue um, just make sure everything's unplugged before you do replace these so this this is just a helpful tip video to to answer that question about the whole complete unit um, yeah just go ahead and replace the whole thing it's a lot easier and a lot uh, uh, less inexpensive to sit and throw parts and pieces at it if you have many defective uh, components in here or even if it's just old uh, it's a lot easier just to do that so we hope this video helps and we'll see you on the next one